So today we are going to be looking at the third boss of Bone Mass. Now guys, I want to start by saying this boss is quite difficult. He's not like the first two. There's a big difference between him and the first two bosses. And so this is going to be a bit of a fight to gear up for. And that's why we're going to do a full guide on this today. Now on that, I do want to say there are ways of cheesing him. And you can kind of, you know, make sure that you're definitely not going to die and all this sort of stuff. Um, but I wanted to try and do a guide that was like keeping with the idea of the game, which is to fight him legit and go through some ways that you guys can do that. Now, I, in this video, do manage to kill him. It's the second time I've ever faced him. And I killed him with like dying like three or four times. So honestly, if I can do it, you guys can too, so that's for sure. Uh, just to say, there are a lot of guides that mention ice arrows, right? That you can go and get these ice arrows to shoot him. Uh, because these the ice arrows, you know, they do more damage against him than your typical arrows will do. Now, this is true, and it's part of the cheesing it method, but I just want to say, this is quite an elaborate method. Like, you guys are going to be, it's, it's time consuming, right? Like, you have to go and explore the mountain biome, and if you don't have one near your base, then that's quite a trip. And you have to find some certain things in there and all this sort of stuff. And my personal opinion is it's not necessary. So I would say, like, consider that for sure. And particularly if you're going to cheese it, I think that does require the ice arrows for the methods that I've seen. But have a look at today's video, and I reckon there are ways you can fight them legit. As I said, if I can do it, you guys can too. So let's take a look at it. To get the most out of this video, be sure to check out the different chapters to watch what bits are relevant to you. We're going to start with the location of where to find bone mass. Now, just to say, if you guys want a full swamp guide, I do have one of those on my channel. So I'll show you how to explore swamps and crypts and all that stuff safely. But assuming you already know how to do that, let's look at the location for bone mass. So when you're out exploring your crypts, you will find a runestone like this. And it says on it right there, bone mass, right? So what we can do is go E to register the location. And there we go. It's going to show me on my map. And now I can simply scroll out to get an idea of exactly where that is. Um, but this is where it's going to be. And uh, it's in this unexplored territory here for me. So now I know where I need to go in order to fight him. Now, another way of finding bone mass's location is if you find a structure like this in the swamp, sometimes when you go inside, you will see one of these. And there we go. That is the bone mass registration tablet thing. So press E there, it'll say already done because I did it before, but there we go, that was for this one here. So this is another way of finding them. If you are struggling to find them in the crypts, then uh, do check out these structures when exploring your swamp. Next up, we're going to look at the preparation that I would recommend that you do prior to fighting bone mass. Now, uh, some of this stuff is optional and I do go into that, but if you're a bit inexperienced or you're not comfortable with fighting bosses, then I highly recommend that you go through each of these steps. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the poison resistance mead that you see right here. In order to make this, you'll need to go into a cauldron and put Put in 10 honey, 5 thistles, 1 nectel, and 10 coal. From that, you'll get some poison mead, and then you need to ferment that mead in a fermenter. This takes a couple of days in game, and that's why we're talking about this first, because that can be happening while you're doing everything else. In terms of meads, there are a couple other meads that you might want to take with you, including healing and stamina meads. These are optional, but of course would give you extra buffs during the fight. Again, if you do want to make those, they will take a couple of days in game to ferment. But I just want to stress here that the poison resistance mead is an absolute must. If you don't take this with you you're going to find it incredibly difficult to beat bone mass next up we're going to talk a little bit about food and there's some personal preferences in here but i think the two things you definitely should be taking are the sausages and also the honey and then i'll come on to the queen's jam after the sausages you can get once you've killed some draggers using their entrails and things in the cauldron you guys should have this at this stage of the game as you can see the health of 60 stamina 40 this is incredibly op at this stage you definitely want this the honey i highly suggest because you can heal by 5 hp per tick so this is going to really help you out during the fight it's gonna be a fantastic food for you to eat and also it doesn't last that long it's got a low duration so you better eat lots of it whilst fighting bone mass so those two i say you definitely need the next up my personal preference is queen's jam because the extra stamina you get and also it's got a good duration there 1200 seconds um, if you wanted to take something else like the cooked meat to give you some extra hit points or carrot soup or something like that then of course you could do this if we take a look in the cauldron here i can show you the stats for the carrot soup and uh, you can see right here this will give you a stamina of 60 which is very high and it is quite useful um, i would say this is probably preferable to the queen's jam but it is a bit more difficult to get so it just depends also the queen's jam will give you that extra health so i think the queen's jam is better because it's a little bit more balanced but i just wanted to list these options for you guys if you think that i'm wrong if you think you prefer a different type of food let me know down in the comments so obviously weapons tools and armors are an important thing that you're going to need to take with you for the fight so here is what i recommend first of all you need to make the best possible mace that you can so if you're at the iron stage 
prioritize making an iron mace and you see i've upgraded mine as well highly recommend that you look at doing this as that is what bone mass is weakest to is the mace attack the stag breaker is also quite useful because it's going to be good to defeat his ads when you get a lot of the mobs there all in one place you can use this to sort of do a big hit on a lot of them and it's just a useful thing against the type of mobs you're going to be facing however i do also recommend that you do take a bow with you if you take with you some fire arrows they're quite useful against the type of mobs that are going to be spawning uh, but any sort of arrows if you get flint arrows they're going to be pretty good as well this is to fight the adds from a bit of a distance and help you out with that the other thing it talk about is the shield so you definitely want to take the best shield with you that you can i really like the serpent scale shield again there's a video on my channel on how to kill the serpent solo if you want to see that but the scales that you get there can be used to make the shield and it is a really really good shield to take with you as you're going to see later on when we start doing some of the fight so this shield right here is going to have a lot of block power the one thing it doesn't have is parry so if you're more into parrying which is definitely useful you can look at that but i find that just having this extra block power and taking less damage is really helpful during the fight then of course we need to look at armor and if you can get all iron armor definitely take that with you upgrade it if you can uh, i've seen a few people defeat bone mass using bronze armor it's not that it's impossible it depends obviously how good you are at the sort of fighting aspect of this game how confident you are with that but if you can take iron armor obviously that is definitely going to help you and i do recommend it now iron armor you'll see does decrease your speed so you will lose a percentage of your speed per each iron armor you have on whereas for example you could wear something like wolf armor which is lighter and doesn't have this so depending on how you want to fight you might want to consider that uh, you know the bronze or the wolf armor so it's less speed reduction but honestly i find having the better armor is just the better way to go the other thing that's going to really help you out is to be fully rested now i recently did a video on my channel if you guys are interested which is a full comfort guide on how you can get the top level of the rested buff um, but basically what we're going to do is set up a portal near bone mass go to sleep and then get up in the morning and go straight through that portal to get to him this will ensure you've got the rested buff for as much as possible during the fight which is really helpful it, it helps with your stamina and health regen so it's a really useful buff to have and i highly recommend you prioritize this especially if you are struggling another thing is to make sure you activate your ike ability just before you commence the fight because again this is going to help with your regens and finally the other thing you absolutely have to take with you are 10 of these things right here these are withered bones you can get them from muddy scrap piles found in the swamp crypts there is a full swamp guide on my channel if you guys want to see more on that but most of you will probably either have these already or know how to get them now the final thing to say is whether you want to do some sort of preparation around the bone mass spawn area and we're going to talk about this now now as i said there are chapters in this video so if you don't want to see this bit if you're just ready to do the fight then everything i've said so far means you're now geared up and ready to do the fight and you can skip on to that bit in the uh, video and we'll talk about that but if you're going to do the preparation around the bone mass area let's have a look at how we do that so once you have your location for bone mass you'll see the altar just like this this is where you'll put in the bones to spawn him in and he will spawn around this area now one thing that makes fighting him more difficult is when you're constantly in and out of puddles and that's why you might want to bring a hoe with you have it on level ground and just come and clear a lot of these puddled areas like this this way you're going to be fighting him on land more often and you won't have to worry about getting bogged down and losing stamina swimming around you also won't have to worry about leeches attacking you so you're not going to get poisoned from leeches and take damage from leeches so you can simply concentrate on the bone mass fight again particularly if you're struggling i highly recommend that you do this it is not essential though to fight him just something that i like to do another thing to consider is what you see i've made here which is a bit of a safety house or a retreat house if you like but it's also where i'm going to put my portal so if we do die where well, we can sort of come back and be in a safe area and what i've done is i've built this off the ground which means that as i'm running i can jump up and get up here but the other mobs cannot get up to us now as you're running up here bone mass will still be able to attack you until you get high up but once you are high up you'll be fine what you need to do is build it on one of these big trees that you see here that cannot be chopped down that means the bone mass can also not destroy them as you will destroy the other trees the smaller ones that you can chop down so if you were to build it on there this wouldn't work because you know you could destroy it um, but what i've done to see you've just got like a little basic house up here this is my portal home i've got like chests here where i can store stuff that i might need like either junk stuff like this or even stuff that during the fight might be useful like some spare poison potions so if i die i can respawn and also you might want to consider putting some sort of like armor and weapons in here as well so that if you die you can quickly portal back because 
which is obviously this other portal this connects to my base uh so i can you know get myself rested if possible and then come back through get geared back up and then go to my gravesite to try and re-attack so again this is an optional extra but i just thought i would mention it as uh, you might find it kind of useful okay guys here we are first thing in the morning apologies that it's so dark but it's because we've just slept i've got my full rested buff and it also means that i'm going to have as little time as possible in the swamp at night when obviously things are more difficult so we are now pretty much ready to go i'm just going to dump some stuff here in my chest in case i need to come back for this and we're going to go down to look to spawn in bone mass now what i'm going to do at this stage as well is just take a little bit of food out of here as well so that if we need to come back uh we're going to have a little bit of food here available to us just like that Alrighty, well, let's head down and spawn this guy in okay so before we spawn him in let's go ahead and drink our poison resistance mead here and also have all of our food so we're already there with the poison resistance the rested and obviously our buffs there i'm gonna press f to activate our ether ability as well and just one final thing to say guys on my map here you'll see i've got planes here and i've got planes there so if you have that obviously avoid those areas like planes are very dangerous places that's the last thing you want when fighting bone mass so i just thought i'd mention that because it happened to me so it could happen to you guys but then we got up here we press eight we've made the sacrifice he's about to spawn in so let's see where he comes in and we'll talk about the fight i'll just do little updates as we go it's gonna be probably a reasonably long fight like 20 minutes or so i don't know exactly but uh, so we probably won't look at the whole thing but here he is so as soon as he spawns in we can go ahead and start getting some big hits in on him so bone mass has three attacks so we're going to take a look at each of those now and what to do about each of them so first up we have his big swinging attack where he'll try and swing his arms at you for this attack you definitely want to be blocking if you are nearby but it is a reasonably slow sluggish and predictable attack so when you see it coming the best thing to do really is just to get out of the way but if you can't do make sure you are blocking you can also dodge roll to get out of the way of this this is a little bit more difficult but just make sure that you're aware of this one and trying to at least block if not get out of the way the second thing he'll do is throw these blobs which will spawn in his ads now when he does this what you want to do is try to anticipate where the blob's going to land and run towards it get really close to it get near to it and as soon as they spawn just unleash hell and <laughs> just go for it and kill them as quickly as you can you really don't want these ads to mount up you want to get rid of them all as soon as you possibly can and finally you have his spew attack now when he's doing this particularly when you've had your poison resistance this is not a time to run away and hide from that unless you're on low health this is actually the opposite this is the time to run in and get close to him he spends quite a lot of time thinking about throwing up and then throwing up his poison and during that time you can do some real damage to him it's a really good opportunity don't be afraid just get in there and give him lots of hits but you will find once he's done spewing he's very quickly going to do one of his swing attacks and this is one of those situations where you might find yourself close and needing to block that attack because you might not be able to get away in time and so the process of defeating bone mass is going to rely on dealing with his three attacks over and over again and the best thing to do is to just try and have a bit of a system for this so okay he's throwing a blob we go get that we kill the ads we come back in if he's swinging you can block you can use his temple and trees and stuff like that to sort of dodge out the way and use them as blocking mechanisms against him and then as soon as you see him spewing get right on in there give him as many hits as you can but also make sure you're able to get away like all boss fights as well i suggest that what you do is focus on not taking damage and if you do take that damage that's where the safe house can really come in handy you can go there you can reheal, you can go back to your base if you need to and then come back at him fresh when you have the opportunity and there we go guys we finally stormed in there at the end and got the kill and i gotta tell you after such a crazy battle it does feel pretty good when you finally do kill him um so let's have a look now here we go what we get from the bone mass kill and uh, and what this is basically all for so the drops that you will get when you kill bone mass are the bone mass trophy and the wishbone both of them are 100 chance the bone mass trophy we're going to take to spawn together now and have a look at exactly what that does as for the wishbone you need to right click this to equip it you'll see that it's equipped and in the top right of my screen it will show that the wishbone is equipped and if you're going through the mountain biomes it will show you when there is silver below now i'm going to be doing a video on that soon as a guide but that is essentially what it is for okay so here we are at the spawn point got my uh, bone mass trophy right here so we can go up to the bone mass sort of statue area here and attach the item there we go and as you can see when you activate this it will be uh give yourself damage uh, resistance against blunt slash and pierce damage so basically all physical damage pretty much uh for five minutes once activated so 
this is going to be obviously super useful against future bosses and things like that. And that is what you get from defeating Bone Mass. So the final thing for me to say about Bone Mass, guys, is I died about three or four times fighting Bone Mass today. And sure, I'm not the best at combat, but he is a difficult boss. And uh, you guys might find the same problem. So in that case, I highly recommend the preparation work of hoeing the area and also making that little retreat house. It really saved my skin so many times. And having that spare armor and stuff to quickly equip and go and get my stuff back was really, really useful. If you think I've missed any tips and tricks for the fighting bone mass, please do let me know down in the comments. But for now, I just want to say I hope you're enjoying these uh, Valheim tutorials as much as I'm enjoying and loving this game. If you are and you want to see more, then please do consider liking and subscribing for more Valheim content. But for now, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. So if you've already fought bone mass, guys, how did you go? Is there anything you think you could help us out with in terms of tips and stuff? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't yet fought bone mass, are you scared? Are you worried? And if so, what worries you the most?